Dragon's Dogma 2, released by Capcom, released on March 21, 2024. IGN rating, 8. Metacritic score, 86. System played on, PS5. Welcome back to Real Reviews. Like always, I am your host, Lee. We are back to do our third video game review, Dragon's Dogma 2. This game was wanted. The original was a cult classic, and it was good. I don't think this one will go down as a cult classic because it's sold at least moderately well, but it is still good. I'm a bit conflicted on the game in some aspects, but let's talk about it. I am going to get the bad out of the way first. The lip sync was awful, jarringly so. The pawns are dumb as rocks half the time, including jumping off cliffs, pushing the player off a cliff, just wandering off and dying, etc. The targeting system specifically for ranged players isn't great. I am not saying there needs to be a hard lock system, but on several occasions I was looking right at the monster and the character would shoot the ground with the normal attack. Another problem that I didn't notice much until late game is enemies seem to ignore some of the mechanics. My pawn was a warrior, had the ability to make people want to attack him more, had a ring to do the same, and the enemies would still rush me. I get that it can't possibly be perfect, but I expect at least a bit of them attacking him to give me a moment to set up an attack. But what about microtransactions, Lee? I hear someone yelling this from the future. What about them? They don't impact the game in any meaningful way. But let's talk about a few. Port crystals are waypoints. You can set up to 10 waypoints, and there are 10 port crystals in the game. I used a total of one. Rift crystals, or RC. The currency you use to rent pawns. Pawns the same level or lower than you are free. Your friend's pawns are free no matter the level. It costs like 30 RC per level above yours to rent a higher level pawn. You get it everywhere, quest in the world, from killing enemies, etc. Okay, okay, but what about the wake stones? That is how you resurrect. Wake stones are a continue in the exact same spot, but often you can just load the last save that was maybe 3 to 5 minutes back. One time I was fighting a dragon I shouldn't have been, and the autosave feature actually made it, so I could win where a wake stone wouldn't have. And before you bring up changing your appearance, you can get those books for RC or pay like 10,000 gold to do it. In late game you get so much gold it is laughable. Like 30,000 or more per quest. One last thing, on this front, the pawns never shut up. My main pawn and both other pawns I was using at one time didn't know where to go to complete a quest, so they just kept saying to hire a pawn who knew something about the quest, and it got really old really fast. One thing that makes me irritated to no end is the fact that you can be doing something the open world, have a full party of pawns and a random pawn will walk up and ask to join. They shouldn't be able to ask in my opinion. It is just so dang frustrating. Let's talk really fast about the one mediocre thing. It is the story, it isn't super captivating, none of the side quests will blow you away etc. The game has what I call a Skyrim problem. The world is cool, the combat is fun, but the story that you are supposed to want to do is just kind of boring. On to the good. There is a decent amount of good. Let's start with the best worst thing Dragon's Plague is awesome. Only had to deal with it once, had to throw my main pawn into a river mid-dragon fight due to him attacking the party, but it is a cool system where you get warnings and can act on it before it becomes a problem. Combat is good for the most part, it can be hindered a bit by pawns being dumb, but the spells look cool. The classes are all just different enough to get joy out of them or find that one sweet spot class that really works for you. Small monsters aren't particularly innovative but are fun to fight in the beginning. You have versions in the starting area and then slightly harder versions in the next area. One part where this does work against the game is New Game Plus. I started and picked a class I had no real gear for and absolutely destroyed any of the starting area monsters because they don't scale levels or get anything additional in a new game. The large monsters are where the game really gets it right, climbing them, being able to knock them over, having weaknesses worth exploiting. The graphics are honestly pretty good. I did get a few frame drops, but never consistent and never gameplay impacting. The voice acting is good, with the express exclusion of the Arisen and the Pawns. Probably the outright coolest thing is that Pawns including your own remember how to complete quests, where chest and rift stones are, and you can either have them guide you or not but it is pretty dang handy regardless. There is limited fast travel in this game because they want you to explore. You can use ox guards or port crystals to get places, but honestly, if I had done that I wouldn't have ever found things like the elven city of Sacred Arbor or the Lair of the Medusa. 
At a certain point I got tired of using ox carts because there is a non-zero chance that mid-travel they will be attacked, and it is possible for the cart to get destroyed. Also fair warning, ox carts aren't faster unless you use the doze-off feature. Camping isn't always safe either, but higher-end camping sets are lighter and can be reused unless destroyed by monsters. I'm also a big fan of the slow loss of health until you rest. It makes the game have consequences and is the closest you can really get to a hard mode. Overall, I would recommend this game. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. It would be a 9, but the story just isn't there. Luckily for it everything else is, and it feels good to play. Really, the most accurate description might be a Skyrim out of 10. If you made it this far thank you for watching. If you liked it make sure to like and subscribe. I typically have at least 2 videos out per week. This week I am probably getting 3 as a Renegade Nell review is coming tomorrow. Until next time.